What's up guys and gals, Gnome here, and as promised, we're going to do an updated tutorial on how to record your voice over your gameplay doing live commentaries with the Elgato 2.0 software. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to come up here, we're going to pick our input device. So currently mine is set on PlayStation 4, input is HDMI and it's going to be 1080 HD, allow 60 frames per second. So this is all your settings that you're going to pick when you do your uh, input device, PlayStation 3, Xbox One, Xbox 360, all these others, there they are. Mine, currently PS4. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come down and adjust the game audio. When I do a live commentary, I generally put my game audio at negative 21 dB. And the reason I do this is because I want you to be able to hear my voice over the gameplay. And depending on what game it is, and you know, certain games are going to be louder than others, but Destiny, some of the guns are pretty loud, like the Mythical Class, which you'll see here in just a second, and other weapons in the game. And just game audio in general sometimes is louder. So what I do is I uh, actually put it at negative 21 so that you can hear my voice over the game audio. Uh, down here is the live streaming settings. I don't do live streaming, so I'm not going to go over that in this tutorial. If I ever do decide to start live streaming and I use the Elgato, I will go over how to do that uh, with this software. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to go and we're going to pick the audio input. Currently, mine is set at the Blue Yeti. That's what I will be recording the gameplay audio with, is the Blue Yeti. Or I could pick the Blue Snowball. I could use the line in. What this is, is this, if you have a computer that allows it and you have a pair of headphones that are going into your computer and they have a mic and depending on the computer that you have and the software you're using, you may be able to record your voice through that microphone and put it directly over the gameplay. So that is an option. Or you can use the internal microphone on your computer. I don't suggest doing this just because a lot of times the internal microphones on computers are not that great. They're not as good as something like a Blue Yeti or a Blue Snowball. And of course, not everybody can afford those. So therefore, you know, if you're limited by money or you're waiting for, you know, uh, an external microphone to come in and you need to uh, go ahead and make a gameplay commentary or make a commentary, then you can go ahead and use the internal microphone on your computer and it will work just fine. It won't sound as good, but it will work either way. And then I always set my audio commentary at zero dB. I don't suggest going over um, zero just because, you know, when you start getting over zero decibels, it starts getting into where it starts irritating in people's ears. And depending on your audience, you know, depending on who you have watching, some people may have sensitive ears and this can affect, uh, you know, how they, you know, how they respond to your gameplay and your commentary. You can also do automatically reduce game sound and what this does is if you click this it will actually reduce the game sound even lower than what you have it set up here so that um, it's pretty much just your voice and the gameplay is just barely noticeable in the background. I don't use this now. I used to when I first started. I don't use it now because uh, there will be fluctuations in you know the game audio and my voice and it would sound weird and I would have my game audio too high and then you would hear the game audio and then you hear my voice and it would just it would get all funkified and I just didn't want to do it like that so I quit doing that. So uh, what I do is I just set mine at a lower um, you know volume up here on game audio and I leave my uh, commentary audio at zero. And then down here of course is your title so I titled this record voice Elgato software. Destiny is the game that you see there and we're playing on the PlayStation 4. Once everything is good to go over here in this column, what you need to do is you need to come down here and you need to click this button. What this does is it activates or deactivates the live commentary as it says there. So I think people were having a problem last time that I did a tutorial and that they were not making sure this was clicked and highlighted and therefore they were recording their entire gameplay and then they would go to watch it and their voice would not be over the gameplay. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click this now. So as you see, what happened when I click this is now the audio is coming through the microphone here and you can actually see my levels going up and down as I'm speaking. So we're going to go ahead and just get into this and I'm going to record gameplay here showing you that my voice is being captured and it's going to be, you know, played directly over in line with the gameplay. So after you've got all the settings here, you've got that click, you are now good to go and we can hit record. So start recording. Okay, and we have started the recording. There I was dancing on Destiny, playing Patrol on Earth. We're going to take this Vex Mythoclast and we're going to uh, 
show these guys what the Vex machinery is all about. Oh yeah. Okay, well he's hiding. Nope, there was nobody there actually. Come over here, we're gonna take care of these guys. Come on, come on, come on. For some reason with this chick, this warlock, I don't know whether it has something to do with the agility that I have set on her or what, but some reason when I'm running, she doesn't always run. Or right, right there, I'll be running and then she'll stop. My other characters don't have that problem, just her. So here we are, you know. We're not gonna make this real long, just basically showing you that this is how you record gameplay and make this mother brother explode, all right. All right, guys, and then as soon as you're done, what you do is you go down here and you re-click the start button. I already did that, but um, what you do is you, you come back down here and it's actually stop recording. And then you can come over here to the edit section and here will be your gameplay commentary. You'll be able to come down here and cut parts of the clip, trash parts of the clip, whatever you need to do, but right there is the gameplay. As always, guys, this is your host, Gnome. I want to thank you for watching. If you have any comments, please just leave them down in the comment section below. I will try to get to them as soon as possible. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button down below, and don't forget to subscribe, guys. It really does help uh, us YouTubers out. Thanks, guys. Peace.